Assalamualaikum and good day. I am Nurul Ashida binti Abdul Rahim, student ID 2018-76274, Bachelor of Science with Honor Biology, Faculty of Applied Science, University Technology Mara, Campus Arab Perlis. The title of my project is a review on the bias options of heavy metal in a solution using prawn or shrimp shells particles. This project is under supervision of the Dr. Nur Maisara Sarizan. Before I proceed, hear my content for the presentation today. Let's begin with chapter 1, which is the introduction. Environmental challenges have increased due to the growth of the industrial world. Polluted water does not only contaminate with the trash, sewage, oils, radioactive substance and phytogenic microorganism, but also with the heavy metals. Polluted water with heavy metals could harm many organisms, including humans, since water is the main source of uh, for life. The problem statement are contaminations of water by heavy metals is a become huge issue and become huge threat toward human health. Secondly, current existed conventional techniques for heavy metal removals are less efficient. Third, brown or shrimp shells are not fully utilized and insufficient of the study by using various species for what for heavy metal removal. The significance of study are to provide insight on the bioabsorption technique that can be used to track uh, heavy metals in aqua solutions. Second, utilization of prawn or shrimp shell waste in a proper way. Third, the advantages of applying bioabsorption technique compared to the other technique. In this project, they have three main objectives which are to review on the various techniques that have been used in a removal of heavy metal in aqueous solution. Second, to review on the removal of various types of heavy metals from solution by prawn or shrimp shell particles. And the third one is to compile and list out all of the exper experiment and bioabsorption conditions uh, that we're using a prawn or shrimp shell to remove the various heavy metals. In this review, the research questions are First, how does bioabsorption using prawn and shrimp shells are capable in heavy metals removal from A solution? Second, why using prawn and shrimp shells to remove heavy metals instead of other biomass waste? Third, why bioabsorption is the most effective method compared to existed conventional method in heavy metal removal from solution? Fourth, what are the factors and affecting the bioabsorption process using prawn and shrimp shell particles as a bioabsorbent? And the last one is what are the suitable bioabsorption isotherm to use uh, in this review between Langmuir isotherm and Friedrich isotherm? Let's proceed to the chapter 2, which is the literature review. The first element in the literature review is the water pollution. Heavy metals are among of the pollutants that contaminate the environment specifically towards the water system. Uh, this is because uh, water is essential for humans for daily use, uh, such as for drinking, food production, recreational, recreational activities, uh, industrial, agriculture and aquaculture activities. So according to Ali et al. 2019, to have two main sources that can lead to the water pollution, which are uh, natural and anthropogenic sources. The second element of the literature review is the heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metal is described as the one of the most important elements that consider uh, exist in the very low concentration in water and sediment. However, uh, somehow, most of the heavy metal could uh, potentially become toxic and give a threat towards living organisms if uh, the concentration reaches above the certain threshold level. 
the second is the heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, chromium, copper and arsenic are often considered stable, toxic and, and non-biodegradable as well as the carcinogenic uh, according to the Mitra at all 2017. So the third element is the limitation of the conventional technique. Uh, the first technique is the chemical precipitation. This is a technique that utilizes the chemical agent to react with the heavy metals ion to form an insoluble solid precipitate. Then, the precipitate will be removed from the solution by the sediment or the filtration according to the Malik et al. 2017. Uh, the limitations of the chemical precipitation is uh, it will use a large amount of chemical in the treatment. Second, uh, the huge amount of low density sludge will produce by the hydroxide precipitation. Uh, the second uh, technique is the ion exchange, which is a reversible exchange of ions between a solid and liquid. This is according to Dow et al. 2019. The limitation is it's not all the ions exchange resin is ideal for the metal removal, and this procedure is quite uh, uh, costly. Uh, the third technique is a flotation, is where a gravity separation is associated with the removal of the surface inactive ion from echo solution through surfactant or collectors. Uh, the limitation is this technique could produce a large amount of sludge similar to the chemical precipitation and make it uh, difficult to recycle to waste metals according to Dilayani et al. 2017. The fourth element of the literature review is the bioabsorption. Bioabsorption is the ability of the biological material to accumulate heavy metal from the wastewater via metabolically mediated or spontaneous physical chemical pathway according to the Shamin 2016. Uh, this method could uh, used in to treat wide treatment area with a high bioabsorption capacity and do not cause any secondary type pollution. This is according to the Lou et al. 2020. In addition, the functional groups of the biosorbent using in this process may interact with the metal ions, which helping the metal ion absorption. The next element is prawn and shrimp shell as biosorbent. The shell particles predominantly contain 33 to 40% of protein, 70 to 20% of chitin, 34% ash, according to Adeye et al. 2016. The second largest biopolymer in the world from a nearby organic material is chitin. So the chitin, also classified as biodegradable and biocompatibility elements, which could properties for heavy metal removal, according to Anas Topolis et al. 2017. Ahmed et al. 2020 state that the shell particles have high ability to interact with the heavy metal ions. It can be implemented in a wide area of treatment and very easy to handle, reusable, eco-friendly, uh, efficient and low cost of the treatment. Next is the factor affecting bioabsorption of heavy metal, uh, pH, temperature, initial metal concentrations, and the absorbent dosage are very important factors that affecting the maximum absorption capacity of the bioabsorption of the um, the bioabsorbent. Last element of the literature review is the bioabsorption isotherm. Bioabsorption isotherm is expresses the relation between the concentration of adsorbate at the equilibrium in the liquid phase and the equilibrium adsorption amount in the solid phase at a certain temperature according to the Tadros 2013. The Langway model isotherm is the empirical model that presents the equilibrium distribution uh, metal ions between liquid and solid phase. The model also describes the formation of monolayer absorbate on the homogeneous surface of absorbent, making sure no other absorption occur after that, according to Ali et al. 2016 and Paula K. et al. 2019. Meanwhile, the friend, friendly uh, 
model isotherm describe the absorption process of heavy metal ions occurring on the heterogeneous surface and active site of adsorbent, whereby the absorption occurs with a different energy based on multilayer absorption and equilibrium according to the Palakia et al. 2019. Chapter 3. Conclusion and Recommendation For the conclusion, uh, in this era, water is significantly important towards human daily life. Heavy metal in water may become a threat towards human health. Hence, this review provides an overview of advantages of bioabsorption using biomass waste as a technique in heavy metal removal from a solution compared to other existing conventional techniques. Furthermore, using prone or shrimp shell particles as biosorbent are very environmental friendly due to the problem that two secondary type pollution may not arise, and the biosorbent classified as the biodegradable and biocompatibility element which are good properties for heavy metal removal. Besides that, there are several factors that are also uh, emphasized by the most study in order to achieve maximum heavy metal ion absorption capacity, such as pH temperature, absorbent dosage, and initial metal concentration. For recommendations, more research have to be done on the various species of the prawn or shrimp shells. Secondly, uh, it is worth if uh, the future study can be applied using a various instruments such as SEM and FDIR. That's all from me. Thank you so much.